I can certainly see, I mean, looking through your work, um, I've been following you for a while, but actually looking a bit deeper into, this is the problem with social media, right? You might follow someone, but you don't really know who they are, or what they're, you know, the, the depth of their work. But once I started looking a little bit deeper into you and your, your work, blown away with the creativity of a lot of shots that I guess most photographers would would deem not simple but like a simple concept right whether it's a cityscape or landscape or an aerial shot you kind of take that concept and you you just juggle it all around and 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 just kind of completely flip it on its head sometimes literally right I mean I think remembering one of your shots it might have been in Hong Kong but like you said it was the city upside down and I think it was a it was someone standing on a, on a cliff yeah on the or cliff something. or something yeah I yeah think, I mean super yeah. cool like really freaky because uh you know your eyes your brain isn't you know doesn't really uh, process that naturally as a kind of image you have to kind of take a second look at it which is what photography is all about right and is is was that a conscious it was just trial and error by the sounds of it but once you kind of uh kind of had that idea how easy was it to kind of run with it? And more importantly, did you get jobs from that type of style? Um, I have gotten jobs a little bit from that type of style. Um, but also, I think just like, I think architecture school really kind of played with my mind and like how I see the world, I guess. Like I'm always starting to like question things. Why is this like that? Or why is that like that? And like... um how, what happens if I flip this? What happens if this is like this? And like I start to question the world a lot more when I was starting studying architecture. Um, but then, I mean, I also like follow a bunch of like other graphic artists and like photographers who do this kind of stuff as well. So like, uh, you get inspired quite quite easily, especially on Instagram. Like you see quite a lot of stuff. Um, where sometimes it's like you you don't know if it's a real photo or not, and like. And I kind of sometimes take that on board and like uh, use that for my own photography as well. Does the the impending influence of AI, um, I guess, scare you or impact you in in any of your work? Because, like you said, there are a lot of images these days that you could mistake for AI or vice versa, right? Um, how does that play into yep. your your role and your workflow, if at all? Um, so the only form of AI I currently use is the just the new generative field tool in Photoshop. Uh, that actually helps me a lot because I like to clean up my photos, like get rid of the people in the background, and like uh, add uh, sometimes add some clouds or just add a bit more interest to it. Um, so that actually has saved me a lot of time. Um, and I haven't really messed around with like, like straight up image generation type type of AI. I haven't really played around much with that, but uh, maybe in the future. Uh, I'm I'm not against it at all. I'm really excited about what AI can bring. Um, and I think like advancements in technology is always a good thing because like it really pushes you and like really pushes your creativity and see how different you can be, right? Um, in your own form of art. Mm -hmm. 